of strength. Hanuman is one of the most famous and beloved gods of the Indian pantheon. He is described as a humanoid monkey with divine powers. He is the son of Anjana and Kesari. Vayu, the god of wind, is known to be his godfather. He is one of the central characters of Ramayana and also appears in the Mahabharata. His tribe is known as the Vanars and he is primarily described as the forest dweller. Hanuman is typically depicted as holding his mace as his primary weapon. He doesn't have a vahan or a vehicle like other gods and lives as a celibate and spends most of his time meditating the name of Lord Ram. While his iconography doesn't have any special symbols, he himself is an interesting icon. Hanuman is described to be monkey-like and among animals, monkeys are some of the most fickle animals. However, Hanuman is very different. He is a spiritual being with divine powers known as Siddhis. In traditional literature, Siddhi refers to the powers gained by an accomplished and awakened mind which is achieved only through discipline and concentration. Hence, Hanuman reminds us of the power of what the mind is capable of once it is disciplined and concentrated. But he is also the god of strength, thus placing the importance on not just the mind or the body but both. Furthermore, Hanuman is also the god's son of Vayu or the wind god. The wind is usually associated with flowing and being restless. When the winds blow, there can be no fire and thus no light. Maruti, which is another name for Hanuman, is derived from the word Maruts, who are storm spirits and hence destructive. In both the references, we can see Hanuman associated with winds. In this sense, we can look at the stories from Hanuman's childhood where he causes havoc through his innocence. He disturbs rishis, goes around making trouble and finally tries to swallow the sun. As a punishment, the gods make him forget his powers and thus Hanuman is subdued. The story tells us what happens when power is in the hands of someone who doesn't know how to use it. Hanuman as a child is not ignorant of his actions but innocent and hence represents the mind's potential without the mind's intuition. However, this picture is reversed when he becomes the grown person, a devotee of Ram. He becomes a mind with a mission and explores his powers. Ram is famously referred to as the man who follows rules. Hence Hanuman in a way refers to the mind's journey from a timid and wavering wind-like mentality to the disciplined state. Historically, a divine monkey-like character is mentioned in the Rig Veda in a dialogue between Indra and his wife Indrani. Much of the reason for the wide spread of Hanuman's story is the Ram Charitamas, which was a retelling of Valmiki's Ramayana by Tulsidas. As Ram Charitramanas was written in the vernacular language and not the difficult to understand Sanskrit language, it was easier for the common folk to know the characters. The character began to really take a strong wind during the emergence of the bhakti movements when the concept of bhakti and shakti began to take power. Hanuman was the ideal candidate, for he represents an ideal devotee in a story as well as a being that is empowered with his bhakti or devotion. There are some variants of the monkey creatures in other cultures too, such as the monkey king of the Chinese stories. We will explore more about the beings from other cultures that can be compared to Hanuman in our comparative mythology series. If you found this video interesting, then do follow our page Satyalok on Instagram and share this video to help us reach as many people as we can. Stay tuned, stay educated and last but not the least, know your culture by self-investigation of the truth. Shubhaste Panthana Santu, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.